do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in this video we are going to study the carry foster slide wire bridge method which is used for the measurement of medium resistances medium resistances are those resistances which are in the range of 1 ohm to 100 kilo ohms so the resistances which are in this range they are categorized as medium resistances here we are studying the carry foster slide wire bridge method which is used for the measurement of such medium resistances so let us start with our topic the carry foster slide wire bridge is used for the measurement of resistances which are nearly equal in their values okay this carry foster slide wire bridge it is just like the wheatstone bridge in which we are having the four arms and in the four arms we have the four resistances and the bridge that is wheatstone bridge is said to be balanced when the galvanometer shows null deflection and when the bridge is balanced the ratio of the resistance arms that is p by q is equals to r by s so this carry foster slide wire bridge it is also a modification of the wheatstone bridge it works on the same principle of the null deflection So let us first see the circuit diagram for this Carey Foster slide wire bridge. So this is the circuit diagram for the Carey Foster slide wire bridge. You can see that this is similar to the Wheatstone bridge in which we have the four arms, and in the four arms we have the four resistances, P, Q, R, N, S. P, Q, S. These are the known resistances. S is the standard resistance, and R is the unknown resistance. Now in between it we have a slide wire, and on this slide wire we have the sliding contact which is moving over it now when the galvanometer it is showing the null deflection it means that the voltage drop across this eab and ead it is equal or we can say that no current is flowing through the galvanometer so at that condition the ratio of these resistances that is p by q is equal to r by s now here in between this we have this sliding uh, this slide wire is connected that is why in the name of this bridge we have the slide wire bridge okay carry foster is the scientist who developed this now this length of this uh, slide wire is l okay and on this this sliding contact is moved now suppose at this d position we are getting the null deflection in the galvanometer so the ratio of the arms like suppose that we are getting the deflection as this point and the length at of the slide wire is l1 at this point now r is the resistance per unit length of this slide wire so l1 multiplied with this resistance 
resistance value will be added up in this unknown resistance and then the ratio of the four resistances calculated now again we are interchanging these two resistances like at the position of r we are connecting s and at s we are connecting r again we are finding out the deflection suppose at length l2 we are finding that deflection again we will calculate the ratio of the four resistances from the two equations or from the two connections we will obtain the value of the unknown resistance so this is the working of the carry foster slide wire bridge let us again see this so as we have seen that the working principle of this carry foster slide wire bridge and the wheatstone bridge they are same they both uh, these bridges they are based on the null deflection method So the working principle of Wheatstone bridge is what the bridge is going to be balanced when the ratio of the resistances is equal or we can say the galvanometer will give us null deflection when no current is flowing through it. So here also the potential fall is directly proportional to the length of the wire and the potential fall is nearly equal to the potential fall across the resistance which is connected in parallel to the battery okay so here in this carry foster slide wire bridge we have a slide wire which is of length l and this slide wire is connected between the r and the s now in the bridge circuit you can see that uh, the p and q they are adjusted such that the resistance the ratio of the resistance p and q and r and s it is nearly equal and this is achieved by sliding the contact on the slide wire so here we are having a slide wire which is of length l okay sliding contact is moved over the wire now when the connection is like r p q r and s and then when the sliding contact is moved let us suppose that l1 is the distance of the sliding contact from the left hand side from the left hand side if you are measuring suppose at the length l1 we are getting the null deflection in the galvanometer okay So let L1 be the distance of the slide wire from the left hand side and when uh, we have connected like uh, if the connection of the bridge was like P, Q, R and S and at that time we have seen the null deflection in the galvanometer. So L1 is the distance from the left hand side. Okay. Now R is the resistance per unit length. Okay of this slide wire and the total length of the slide wire is capital L.
okay so if we want to find out the resistance of this part which is having the length l1 so it will be l1 multiplied with r okay that will be the resistance of this part now when we have seen the galvanometer in the galvanometer we have got the null deflection it means that the ratio of p by q upon r plus this much part that is l1 r and here s in this s we have we know that the total length is capital l so l1 is added in r so the remaining part is what l minus l1 and when we multiplied this with this resistance per unit length so this much part of the resistance is added in the standard resistance so for this first case when the connections are like p q r and s in that case if we write the balance equation so for first balance the equation will be like p upon q equals to r plus l1 r means l1 r part will be added in the unknown resistance and here we are having the standard resistance so in that standard resistance l that is total length of the slide wire minus l1 that is the distance where we have got the null deflection multiplied with r okay so this is the balance equation for the first case now in the second case the resistance r and the standard resistance s they are interchange means where r is connected at that position s will be connected and the position at where s is connected at that r will be connected so the positions of r and s are interchanged for the second case now in the second case suppose again we want to find the null deflection in the galvanometer we are sliding the contact over this slide wire and suppose that at length l2 from the left hand side we have got the null in the uh, null condition in the galvanometer okay now this l2 length it will be added in this standard resistance and the remaining length will be l minus l2 that will be multiplied with the resistance per unit length and that will be added in the unknown resistance so for the second case the resistance r and s are interchange So now the balance uh, equation will be again P by Q is equals to S plus L two R okay upon R plus L minus L two R. okay this much part multiplied with the resistance per unit length so length and length they will be cancelled and this term will have the unit of a resistance only so that will be the resistance of that part that additional part and it will be added in the respective resistances so we have got two equation one equation when resistance are connected like p q r n s and second case when the resistance are connected like p q s n r now from these two equations we know that the left hand side of both the equations is same they are having the ratio p by q so we are going to equate these two equations okay so by equating we will get we have equated the first and the second equation now adding one to both the sides so 
sorry this is minus l minus l1 r plus 1 and here on the right hand side also we are adding 1 just solve this multiply this Now multiply this uh, inside the bracket, okay? So we will get R plus L1R plus S plus LR minus L1R. L1R and L1R having opposite signs plus and minus so they will be cancelled here L2R will be cancelled. So what we have got S plus R plus LR upon here also S plus R plus LR upon R plus L minus L2R. The numerator terms on both the side, left hand and the right hand side, they are same. So, we they will be cancelled. So, we are left with 1 upon S plus L minus L1R equals to 1 upon R plus L minus L2R. Let us solve this. So what we have done, we have cross multiplied these terms. So we have got R plus LR minus L2R equals to S plus LR minus L1R. Now here also we are having plus LR. Here also we are having plus LR. When we will bring it to the left hand side, it will be cancelled. Okay. Now here bringing this L1R to this side and uh, bringing this R to the right hand side. So what we will get S minus R is equals to L1 minus L2 multiplied with the R. Okay. So what we have got. That is the difference between the standard resistance and the unknown resistance is equal to the difference of the length where we have got the null deflection in both the cases multiplied with the resistance per unit length. So in this way if we got because a standard resistance we already know its value. L1 is the distance in the first case. And L2 is the distance in second case. And R is the resistance per unit length. So we can find out this unknown resistance R with the help of all these variables. Okay, we are going to put the value for all these variables in this formula and we can easily find out the unknown resistance using the carry Foster slide wire bridge. So here 
we have uh, studied that the Gary Foster slide wire bridge it is used for the measurement of comparison of nearly equal resistances if suppose the standard resistance and the R they are nearly equal to each other so we can easily find out through the difference the value of this unknown resistance so in this video we studied about the measurement of medium resistances using the carry foster slide wire bridge so i hope that this topic is clear to you thank you